Hey, what's up spooky fam? We are wrapping up the volumes of Love, Death and Robots that we have so far. We only have three volumes out, hoping that we don't have to wait a year for um, <laughs> season or volume four. But today we are going to be ranking all of the episodes in volume three, which we just finished like two days ago, was phenomenal. And I cannot wait to go through this with you guys. So if you haven't seen my first two videos ranking all of the episodes in season volumes one and two, please go ahead and check out. I'll make a playlist and then I'll link it down below. It's supernatural. Before we begin, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, check out all of my links down below if you'd like to see any more of me or support the channel any further. And let's start off at the back with episode 9. We were graced with an extra episode this, well, this season. We're going to start off at the back with number 9 and 3 robot exit strategies. Please don't be mad at me, I know it's very popular. And this is the actual first the first actual sequel that we have in this anthology series. Three robots walk into the post-apocalypse and take a whirlwind tour of humankind's last attempts to save itself. And while it was good, I just think the rest of the season gets stronger from that one. Number eight is not... <laughs> Number eight is Night of the Mini Dead. And this one, while it did remind me of playing Call of Duty Zombies um, and like the arcade one, uh, and while it also did have a lot of really good references and like pays homage to a lot of horror movies, um, it definitely was not one of my favorites. Uh, so that gets my number eight spot. The zombie apocalypse is conceived in a graveyard beginning with cemetery sex. It is the beginning of the end, and it's once again very good comedic relief. They're they're very good at adding strong comedic relief when things get too heavy in these series. Number seven is bad traveling. A ship's crew member sailing an alien ocean strikes a deal with a ravenous monster of the deep, and this one just didn't stick with me like the other ones did. So that's why it's rated underneath the animated ones, but um, kind of more far back at the list, at the end of the list. Uh, but we're going to start getting into the really good ones here. Number six, Mason's Rats, which was kind of surprising. <laughs> Farmer Mason knows he has a real pest problem when they start fighting back and boy do they ever fight back. This one had so much unexpected gore <laughs> and I loved it. Number five on this list is Kill Team Kill. U.S. Special Forces are trained to neutralize any threat, even a cybernetic killing machine created by the CIA. Their secret weapon is a sense of humor. And I, don't, I feel like I struggled with this one and bad traveling. They could have been swapped, but I, I Kill Team Kill gets the higher um, rating on this list for me. So these next four are the ones that stuck with me the most. Number four, I, I, there's two, this one and number one are the titles that I love the most, but this one is In Vaulted Halls Entombed. A squad of special forces soldiers has the dangerous job of recovering a hostage held by terrorists, but the evil they encounter as they venture deep underground is more ancient and terrifying. So this one, spoiler alert, we get uh, a cameo from a Cthulhu-like creature, and immediately I was like, that's Cthulhu. Uh, and also I was immediately like, that's Joe Manganiello. Uh, <laughs> this one was just so photorealistic. It had really cool creatures, really cool animation. And this is definitely a great way to start off the top four, but moving into number three, we have Swarm. And this one was also a really good one. Two human scientists study the secrets of an ancient alien entity, but soon learn the horrible price of survival in a hostile universe. And this one was kind of overwhelming with all of the little crawlies that come out and you're just like, oh my God, <laughs> imagine being there. I don't want to. Now these next two might be a little controversial in the order that I have them because I know that this next one is probably everybody's favorite but it's not my favorite 
<laughs> it's my second favorite. We have Hibaro, uh, which was very surprising. And I think that was a great episode to end the season with, with such intensity and, and leaving you wanting more. A deaf knight and siren become entwined in a deadly dance, a fatal attraction infused with blood, death, and treasure. And this one was just absolutely heart-wrenching to watch. It just, when it ended, I just didn't know what to do with myself because I felt like it just took a piece of my heart away. <laughs> <laughs> and another one that I felt like just ripped my heart to shreds is my number one, which immediately, this was only the third episode, and immediately I looked at Alex and I was like, this is my number one already. <laughs> This is the very pulse of the machine, and I already feel like I'm going to cry talking about it. Oh my god. No, we're not doing this. <laughs> <sighs> When an exploratory mission to a Jovian moon ends in disaster, the lone survivor must begin a perilous but mind-expanding journey. And I absolutely, I can't think about this one without like wanting to just bawl my eyes out because it was so well done. It was just the narration and it was so beautiful. I'm not crying right now. This is so stupid. <laughs> oh my God. It was just, I guess it just, it stuck with me more than I feel like it, it needed to. Um, but Mackenzie Davis is the one that voices the main, um, the, the main character that we follow. I'm getting too <laughs> worked up talking about this one. Obviously, it just like ruined me. Um, so <laughs> that's my ranking of season three, Love, Death, and Robots. I'm making myself cry because I love that segment so much. <sighs> oh my god, I'm being such an asshole. <laughs> So let me know your ranking of season three. Let me know your favorite episodes. Let me know if you feel this strongly about the very pulse of the machine as I do, because obviously it like broke my heart and I just can't, I can't come back from it. So uh, <laughs> um, yeah, let me know anything in the comments and I hope that you guys enjoyed ranking all of these with me. We'll definitely, when there's a volume four, hopefully fingers crossed, we'll do another one of these videos. Um, Jalo week is coming up, but until then, I'll see you soon. Sayonara, spooky fam. <laughs>